you guys Matthew here from UChat. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to embed the web chat on any page. Okay. First of all, let me show you a quick demo how we UChat implement this. So if you go to our official website at the footer, there is a join to the UChat official certified chatbot builder program. Okay. Um, so that is a web chat. This is what we built on the Omi channel and the user can actually engage with this web chat okay and um, we can qualify them ask you ask them a few questions and then the leads will send to google sheet and also will sync into our email platform so basically what i'm going to show you today is how you can embed the web chat on any of the platform you are using okay so first of all it's a checklist, okay? What you need to get ready. First of all, you need to whitelist the domain, okay? So let me first show you how you can do that. If you go to your UChat dashboard, okay? Um, in the Omi channel, go to the web chat widget, and that should be in the content, uh, in the settings, whitelist your domain, okay? So basically, Whatever the page you are going to embed, the domain need to be first whitelist. Okay, um, we only support one domain to be whitelist per Omi channel per workspace. Okay, so that is the first step. The next step is you you are going to install the script. So, if you select, if you go to your display style, select embed chat window. Okay, and then you can copy this code. And then you need to install this code on the page you want to embed. Okay, so for example, I have built I have built a, a simple new page using the Webflow. This is the platform we are using. So basically, I can click over here. Uh, I can you can add the script at the header, or you can add the script at the body footer okay so you can just copy it over here and i will just install on the footer and make sure at the end of this script that is two settings you can do okay first is that is an here you can see there is an embed id okay this one is very important okay you can rename this for example i can name this as uchat Okay, so basically it doesn't matter the value of this ID. Okay, it is only matter that this is the element that the embed live chat will replace. Okay, so for example, I change this ID to uChat, I can save. And because this is the simple um, two column, uh, two column um, uh, page, okay. I add um, title, description, buttons, one side, one column. Okay, in another column, I just simply drag a um, div block over here. Okay, for me is I just, I want my live chat is to replace this column totally. Okay, so you can make sure that this column, the element you want to replace with the live chat have the same embed id okay because i already changed the embed id to uchat so i will just keep it over here as uchat okay and then you can publish this it will take some time but let's go back to uchat for another settings so basically this script is only make sure that that div that element okay this id is the same the one is the same you are having in the script okay so basically you can change this to anything you just make sure the element you want to replace the element you want to embed have the same id okay that will work and another thing is if you go back over here in the design you can actually um you know make the changes if you want the embed web chat to be a little different okay you can display the header you can hide the header and also you can in, you can increase 
you can set up your own different height. Okay. So basically, I can keep it at 700 and I can apply the changes. And now if I go back to the web chat, I will see, um, I will, I will wait and then preview. You will able to see this block is already replaced by the web chat. So let's see, as you can see, this one is already replaced. Okay. The web chat, this is the height. You can actually change this height in the settings. Okay. One last thing I'm going to cover is we already talked about the embed ID matching, right? Basically that is, um, that is very important and uh, it doesn't have to be the, uh, the, the default value. And now I want to show you is, for example, in this page, you, in your chat, you have different flows, right? You have a lot of different options. They are handling different automations. In this web chat on that particular page, you want the user to trigger different flow, how to do that. So it's actually very simple. Okay. It needs some works. Uh, for example, let me show you a quick example. Okay. We will create, actually create a new flow. Okay. New demo flow. And in this flow, um, we will have one simple message over here that is this is the new demo flow. Okay. And then we will publish this. So what we want to do over here is when this page is loaded, we want to trigger that new flow. Okay. So how we do that? Let me show you how to do that step by step. First of all, you go to the tools. Okay. Go to the widget, go to the ref URL, new live demo, save. And over here, you just select the new flow. So what is the new flow? New lab demo. Okay. The channel, you can select the web. Okay. The most important is here is the ref parameter. So basically this one is the identifier we want to trigger. Okay. We want to trigger on that particular page. So let's copy this. Basically we need this one ref equals web one. Okay. So let's copy this, save, and let's go back to the script. Okay. When we install the script, we actually need to add a little more. So we already in script, uh, install the script over here. So let's go back to the script. We can add this at the end, at the end of this URL. Okay. So let's add this. And then it's a ref equals web one. Okay. You need to use this to connect them. Um, let me show you. Let me show you a much more clear. Okay. So this is the, the value I added at the end of the script. Okay. This will make sure that this page will be triggered. Once it's triggered, it will actually trigger that particular flow. Okay. So, uh, now let's, um, let's save this and let's publish because this will take some time, but once it's finished publish, when you reload the page, it will actually trigger the flow, trigger the new flow. Okay. That how it is, um, how you can, you know, actually embed multiple, um, you know, you can embed different flows at different page. Okay. It's very flexible to use that way. And this, this is the same concept for the other display style as well. Okay. For example, if you have a display as a floating web chat widget, if you add the ref URL at the end of the script, you are installing, then it will trigger that particular flow. Okay. It will not always trigger the main flow. So that is how it is very flexible to trigger different flows. And in the future, we will have the training, the videos to show you how to add extra payload into those flows as well. Okay. So basically that is, um, what we are covering today. First, whitelist your domain. Second, install the embed script.
okay the embed script actually is the uh, end of that is uh, different it's called it's have the embed.js or something and now uh, the page is already published let's preview again let's preview this again and uh, supposedly yeah as you can see this is a new demo flow so basically the new flow is triggered okay so basically that is what i'm trying to cover today and yeah when you install the script um i think a lot of people have the misconception is you can install one only one display style for that domain actually that is not true okay we actually support you to install four different display styles okay it's just you need to copy the right install script okay you can install on page a embed the web chat okay on the page b you can install as a floating widget okay in page three it can be a full page embed in page d that can be a flow pop-up okay so you can you can definitely you know as long as they are under the same domain it's very flexible for you to use different display style and um and that and i think that uh, we also covered how to connect with different flows so you are not limited to only trigger one flow across the website okay different page can different can trigger different of the flows so i hope it's clear and in this demo i showed you how to embed the web chat onto any of the pages okay see you in the next video bye